When the pandemic started, there were fears about it spreading like wildfire through Victoria's vulnerable street community. Surprisingly, it didn't happen. The virus has largely been kept at bay until now. I think we thought that maybe we would be spared, but uh, COVID came to the homeless community uh, in Victoria this week. While Island Health won't disclose which supportive housing facilities or shelters the cases are at or how many people are impacted, they do say it's not yet considered an outbreak. We are aware of um, some clusters in uh, some of our congregate settings. Um, we've had plans in place for a long time anticipating that these events would occur. Stanwick says it's not surprising this is happening now, considering the amount of COVID currently circulating in the wider community. But it does pose some unique challenges. I think given the, 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 the physical proximity that many folk who are homeless and that we serve have with each other, I am concerned that there will be a further growth in numbers. And while self-isolating is easier for those living in former hotel sites with their own rooms, it is a concern for those living in shelters and on the streets. There is no um, abilities to restrict people's movements. Um, that, that again, what we do is we encourage and we support. And, and again, through education and building on the relationships through our outreach teams, to support these individuals. But there is some good news. Unlike a year ago, many of those in the street community and those who work with them are now vaccinated. Our place says it's had hundreds of people receive their shots, and with word of rising case numbers, more are now showing up to clinics. We've seen a, a, a pretty substantial uptake this week of vaccines. Uh, now that folk know that COVID is in their midst, um, and obviously, you know, homeless people are no different from anyone else. They're concerned. They don't want to get it. While the virus may continue to spread, the hope is that with enough vaccinations, the community will not be devastated by serious illness and death.